Nobody builds something that big underground just for fun. New civilizations emerge from the shadows of history, revealing their secrets from the depths of the Amazon rainforests to the distant reaches of the cosmos. Join us as we look at lost civilizations you never knew existed. Sang Sing Duai. In the 1980s, archaeologists unearthed remarkable evidence of a Chinese culture that thrived 3,000 years ago at the Sang Sing Duai pits. Before that moment, their existence was a mystery to all. This was probably due to their exclusion from historical records. A formidable force sought to keep the Sang Sing Duai civilization hidden from discovery. Sang Sing Duai, the namesake of the culture, stands as one of the most enigmatic sites in the world. All evidence points to a flourishing civilization possessing remarkable technological advancements. The Sang Sing Duai civilization exhibited remarkable advancement and possessed the most sophisticated technologies of their era. With the aid of metal tools, they skillfully crafted objects from jade. They possessed a captivating mythology, one that scientists continue to piece together. What could drive a person to erase every sign of their existence? The craftsmanship displayed by these individuals was truly remarkable. They fashioned exquisite objects from jade and metal, the likes of which other civilizations could only dream of producing. In the year 2020, a team of experts unearthed more than 13,000 artifacts hidden within a complex of sacrifice pits. The pits served as receptacles for sacrificial offerings rather than for human beings. In a remarkable find, researchers unearthed a bronze chest brimming with treasures. Once the box was elegantly adorned in silk, featuring exquisite handles shaped like dragon heads. They uncovered nearly 1,000 pieces of bronzeware, along with 540 gold relics and 560 jade artifacts. Ran Honglin, the director of the site, revealed that the most remarkable find was a statue. It might have served as a depiction of an extraterrestrial deity. A peculiar man-serpent creature is depicted in the bronze statue. It possesses unsettling alien eyes, human-like hands and features, a serpentine body, and the snout of a pig. Archaeologists find themselves puzzled by the relic. It is asserted that it showcases the remarkable creativity of the Sang people. They must have inhabited a realm teeming with enigmatic beings and fearsome monsters. Ancient alien enthusiasts assert that they revered extraterrestrial beings that took the form of snake-human hybrids, commonly referred to as reptilian humanoids. It is possible that the reptile deities erased the Sang Sing Duai from the annals of time. It is difficult to conceive of another civilization that possessed such advanced technology, yet remains unrecorded in any historical accounts. The oldest North American civilization, an ancient culture long overlooked, lies closer to your front door than you might think. Off the coast of Washington state, clues are being collected regarding an enigmatic group of individuals who once held sway over the terrain. When I say they dominated the landscape, I mean they held sway over every inch of land along the Pacific coast, stretching from Alaska to Tierra del Fuego. Stone tools were discovered on California's Channel Islands, providing evidence of the existence of these people. Researchers hailing from the University of Oregon ventured into the Santa Barbara Channel, unearthing substantial evidence that has the potential to alter our understanding of history. Among the ancient bones of seals and birds, the archaeological team unearthed stone projectile points, revealing a glimpse into the past. It was clear that hunting had taken place in this area, but the question lingered. When had it occurred? And who were the seekers of the wild? Researchers have determined that the stone bullets date back to 12,200 years ago. However, this merely scratches the surface. On Santa Rosa Island in the Channel Islands, scientists uncovered human remains that are believed to be 13,000 years old. It indicates that inhabitants have called the island home for a minimum of 25,200 years. This has shattered the long-held beliefs of archaeologists regarding North America. It was once believed that the Clovis culture represented the earliest inhabitants of the Americas. They existed not as a civilization, but rather as a gathering of ancient beings united by their shared technologies. 
For instance, the Clovis people employed identical fluted spearheads across North America. The items found on the Channel Islands present a striking contrast. It is understood by scientists that these were not created by the Clovis, but rather by a much earlier group of humans. A name for this enigmatic group has yet to be established, but the evidence suggests they could be the earliest inhabitants of the West Coast. There is yet another surprise. It is believed by scientists that the Clovis people disappeared from the Earth approximately 12,900 years ago. Douglas Kennett, a researcher, presents the compelling argument that a meteor shower led to the downfall of the Clovis society. Douglas remarked that the meteor shower released fragments of cosmic debris onto the Earth, and the impact might have intensified the melting of the North American ice sheet. Is it possible that this meteor shower is the same one depicted on the vulture stone of Gobekli Tepe? I would appreciate hearing your thoughts on this matter. Guansha Civilization in the Canary Islands, archaeologists have stumbled upon a troubling discovery that sheds light on the lost inhabitants of the region. In their exploration, they stumbled upon a mausoleum, a solemn resting place that held the remains of an ancient and vanished culture. Within the tomb lay 72 skeletons, a silent testament to the past. Among the remains, 62 were identified as belonging to adults. The last 10 were held by newborns, Furthermore, the tomb lacked the stone encasement characteristic of those discovered in Egypt or Rome. It resembled a cave more than anything else. It was in fact an amateur archaeologist who, while piloting his drone, stumbled upon the skeletons hidden within the cave's entrance. The skeletons are linked to the enigmatic Guanche civilization. The first inhabitants of the Canary Islands emerged in this enchanting archipelago. On the island, the Guanche thrived in a state of bliss their lives flourishing until the arrival of the Spanish conquest, which brought devastation upon them. The Guansha have been recognized since the era of the Romans. Even the ancient Phoenicians recognized the existence of a unique society on the distant Canary Islands, far beyond their own shores. Lanzarotto Malocello of Genoa embarked on a remarkable journey in 1310, marking the first modern European discovery of the Canary Islands. On the island, he constructed a fort and soon chaos erupted. During the 15th century, the Spanish embarked on the colonization of the islands. The Guanches felt a deep sense of outrage as they faced ruthless suppression and the theft of their culture. As the 17th century drew to a close, this issue had faded into the background. The Guanche community, along with its rich culture and people, had vanished into the annals of history. They had endured the ravages of conflict found themselves enslaved by the Spanish and were woven into the fabric of society through intermarriage. In the present day, they exist as spectres, their history reduced to mere remnants scattered across the Canary Islands. The unearthing of these 72 skeletons serves as a stark reminder of the consequences that arise when Spain seeks to claim your land. It evokes the enigmatic allure of the Guanxi mystery. Due to their long-ago disappearance, historians possess scant knowledge about them. One might wonder what journey led them to the Canary Islands initially. Contemporary scholars propose that migration may have originated from North Africa. Genetic evidence suggests that the Guancha were once Berbers. Perhaps the term Berber has crossed your ears at some point, but do you truly grasp its significance? A Berber refers to an individual hailing from North Africa, distinct from those of Arabic descent. They identify as Amazai. It is primarily outsiders who refer to them as Berber. In their own language, they identify as Amazai, which translates to free. In the vast expanse of the desert, these ancient nomads roamed freely, embodying the spirit of North Africa. They have existed for at least 7,000 years and, in many regions, continue to embrace the nomadic lifestyle of their ancestors. Should the Guansha indeed be of Berber descent, it stands to reason that at some juncture, the desert nomads embarked on vessels in search of new lands. Kilari Civilization In India, scholars unearthed intriguing evidence of a little-known civilization, one that bears connections to another, even more mysterious culture. What they found was nothing more than a knife a simple blade crafted 2,500 years ago, yet the importance of this ancient relic is profound. 
In the southern settlement of Contagai, the blade was unearthed, revealing its hidden presence beneath the earth. The blade lies in a state of disrepair, its edge dulled and ineffective. Deep within the earth lay a corroded iron dagger, resting alongside a skeleton and a burial urn, each telling a silent story of the past. It appears to have been owned by an individual from the Kilari civilization. During their excavation of the settlement, archaeologists unearthed more than just one remarkable discovery. In a remarkable find, scientists from the Tamil Nadu Department of Archaeology uncovered 25 burial urns. Some contained remnants of bones, while others were stocked with weaponry. It is believed by the scientists that Kontagai served as an ancient burial site. The whole settlement might have been established upon the resting places of long-forgotten warriors. In their explorations, archaeologists unearthed ancient clay floors, sturdy brick walls, remnants of cow and goat bones, along with evidence of agricultural practices. A civilization once thrived in this place, reveling in the joy of board games. The artifacts unearthed at the site reveal that the Kalari civilization crafted their own board games for enjoyment. Who could these individuals possibly be? They seem to have emerged in southern India around 500 BC. They embarked on the development of urban areas and cultivated the land. It is said that they were the descendants of a much more renowned civilization. In the ancient timeline, around 2500 BC, the Indus Valley civilization took shape in the northern regions of India, close to the lands of Mesopotamia. That took place two millennia prior to the Kalari. Little is known about them, except for their remarkable urbanization and advanced technological prowess. They were on par with the Mesopotamians in terms of advancement. Yet, in an instant, they fell to the ground. Throughout history, scientists have grappled with the mysteries surrounding the events that unfolded in the Indus Valley. They suddenly left their cities behind, rushing into the countryside as though pursued by malevolent forces. The Kilari may have emerged from the remnants of the Indus Valley civilization following its disappearance. As the Indus Valley met its decline, it is conceivable that the survivors journeyed southward, laying the foundations for a new society. They adopted a new name, embarking on a fresh journey in a different place. Dyson Spheres and Alien Civilizations a recent study suggests that humanity may have uncovered evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. These civilizations exist beyond our planet. They do not lie entombed beneath the icy expanse of Antarctica, nor do they conceal themselves within a hidden cavity of the Earth. In a distant galaxy, there exist civilizations that have remained unknown until now. It might seem like something out of a science fiction tale, yet it is indeed a reality. In the vast expanse of deep space, Scientists have uncovered unusual patterns of starlights that could serve as evidence for the existence of colossal, energy-generating constructs referred to as Dyson Spheres. You believed you were delving into the past, yet what unfolds is a tale of the future. In 1960, Freeman Dyson put forth the idea of the Dyson Sphere, a concept that invites imagination and speculation. Freeman suggests that a proficient society might tap into the energy of its own star, what is the process behind it? It feels like something straight from the universe of Star Trek. Freeman posits that an advanced society, in theory, would construct a cocoon enveloping its star to harness a substantial amount of the energy it generates. It would resemble a colossal cage, draining the star of its essence to power an expansive interstellar empire. Imagine the incredible amount of energy that a solar panel installed on your roof could produce during a bright sunny day. Now, take that and multiply it by infinity. A Dyson Sphere operates like an immense array of solar panels, all intricately linked to the Sun. In a groundbreaking revelation, scientists are convinced they have uncovered tangible evidence linking Dyson Spheres to stars. Matthias Suazo, a PhD student at Uppsala University, took the helm of a study aimed at uncovering these legendary structures. Matthias's team crafted a thorough plan aimed at uncovering subtle signs of what they refer to as astro-engineering. To put it differently, initiatives for construction in space. Simultaneously, another investigation unfolded in Italy, when a remarkable discovery was made as 53 stars were detected, each emitting distinct infrared signals. 
The signatures revealed that the stars were releasing an unusual amount of radiation, which was thought to be generated by a Dyson sphere. None of the scientists can assert with certainty that there exists a civilization in the universe harnessing energy from stars. Yet certain anomalies emerge that seem to lend credence to the theory. Longyu Caves. Deep within the Earth lies a vast labyrinth of underground chambers shrouded in enigma and intrigue. This place holds a deeper enigma than the pyramids of Giza and Stonehenge. The Longyu Caves in China present a mystery that challenges understanding. The origins, intentions, and even the timeline of their existence are shrouded in enigma. Could they be remnants of a forgotten civilization with astonishing advancements, or is there another explanation altogether? Fenghuang Hill boasts robust sandstone, featuring 24 constructed caves, their origins shrouded in mystery. The discovery of these caves holds a level of mystery that surpasses any other archaeological findings in the country, highlighting the depth of China's rich history. By mere coincidence, the caves came to light, a testament to how extraordinary discoveries often unfold. In 1992, as local farmers set about draining several ponds on their land, they stumbled upon a vast cavern hidden beneath the surface. In the days that followed, they uncovered four additional caverns, soon to be joined by 19 more. To their astonishment, the farmers uncovered that these items had been concealed beneath their fields all along. The caverns were far from being mere ordinary rough caves. That wouldn't be particularly thrilling. They were not just simple niches hewn from the stone, like those found in numerous cave temples in other locations. These caverns transcended the realm of an ordinary underground city. Archaeologists studying the Long Yu Caves have reached a consensus that these remarkable structures were probably formed during the Western Han Dynasty. The period spanned from 206 BC to 23 AD, suggesting that the caverns were created approximately 2,000 years ago. Derinkuyu. One might find themselves contemplating Derinkuyu, the renowned underground city in Turkey. In the annals of history, there exists no parallel to Derinkuyu, a marvel unmatched by any ancient creation. This ancient cave, quarry, mine or subterranean city stands apart from all others across the globe. It is important to note that the caverns remain unconnected. Each features a singular entrance, a vertical shaft accompanied by intricately carved stairs. Every entrance is meticulously crafted to gather rainfall and guide it into the cavern through an intricate network of channels. This showcases remarkable engineering prowess. The five main caves are astonishingly vast. Their ceilings soar to heights exceeding 60 feet, supported by massive pillars that stand firm to avert any risk of collapse. The caverns possess an entirely smooth surface. The walls, flooring, pillars and ceilings exhibit a finish that suggests they have undergone a meticulous sanding process, possibly with advanced laser technology or an electric sander. Upon their initial discovery in the 1990s, experts were filled with astonishment, leading them to ponder the possibility of artificial manufacturing. Numerous experts held the conviction that they were confronting a natural occurrence unlike any seen before in history. A significant factor contributing to the misunderstanding lies in the fact that archaeologists have not yet discovered a dependable technique for dating the caves. Little evidence of human activity has also been discovered. They discovered several clay pots on the cavern floor, dating back approximately 2,000 years. However, this finding holds little significance. It is conceivable that individuals might have carried those clay pots into the caverns a full 10,000 years following their creation. One undeniable truth remains. An entity or force has excavated the extensive tunnels. No one has the answers, nor the reasons behind it all. Gobekli Tepe. In a remarkable breakthrough, scientists have unraveled the mysteries of an ancient stone tablet unearthed from a temple that dates back around 11,000 years. It is believed that the inscription on the tablet reveals evidence of an apocalyptic disaster that took place around 11,000 BC. The disaster signaled the conclusion of a previously unknown civilization. This temple may be known to you. It is Gobekli Tepe. Gobekli Tepe is believed to have served as an observatory or a place of worship, or maybe a combination of the two. 
It dates back approximately 6,000 years prior to the construction of Stonehenge. The landscape is adorned with numerous shattered pillars and monoliths, remnants of a bygone era. Among these pillars stands the Vulture Stone. Upon replicating the images etched into the stone, the experts were taken aback. What unfolded before their eyes was a breathtaking meteor shower. Fragments of comets, having descended from the heavens, collided with the earth, reshaping the landscape below. The stone showcases an image of a headless figure, which experts suggest symbolizes death and destruction. It is essential to acknowledge that those who built Gobekli Tepe have long since vanished. No expert has succeeded in uncovering their name or origin. It is thought by some that the builders were nomadic in nature. Yet it is uncommon for nomads to construct megalithic monuments, isn't it? They refrain from building temples, shaping pillars, or etching depictions of cosmic disasters. An ancient site was constructed by a remarkable culture. Their identities remain a mystery, and the events surrounding them are shrouded in uncertainty. According to the Vulture Stone, they witnessed a meteorite burst in the heavens, showering the earth with flames. It is possible that the calamity erased a lively antediluvian community. Megacities in the Amazon, the Upano. In the heart of the deep Amazon, remarkable lost cities have been unveiled, revealing secrets of a bygone era. At the beginning of the year 2024, archaeologists utilized 3D laser mapping to uncover the remnants of temples, palaces, neighborhoods, roadways, and various other structures related to the city. This discovery captivates the imagination, emerging from the very core of the Amazon. Scientists assert that the Amazon had been inhabited by only primitive tribes for the past few centuries. Photographs of uncontacted Amazonian tribes have captured our attention. It was once thought by scientists that the deep jungle was home solely to those tribes. They certainly did not anticipate coming across megacities. Indeed, this is precisely what they were, megacities. This recent discovery has unveiled a structure that rivals the complexity of those constructed by the Maya, yet it stands apart from their civilization. Far removed from familiar landscapes, this sea yen unfolded in the enchanting jungles of Ecuador. Nearly two decades ago, Stephen Ross Dane stumbled upon these remnants of civilization. Stephen believed there was a complex society hidden within the forest, unaware it was actually an urban agrarian civilization. He would have remained oblivious had it not been for the advent of laser mapping technology. After two decades of contemplation, Stephen finally set forth to engage the rainforest with lasers. The lasers created a map in three dimensions. Upon examining the map, one could observe nearly 6,000 earthen platforms scattered across its surface. The earthen platforms stand as remnants of cities and structures interconnected by roadways that traverse extensive agricultural landscapes. Should you have journeyed across the vast prairies, you would grasp the essence of what I mean. Winding long roads traverse the expansive farmland, connecting minor cities, bustling commercial hubs and quaint little towns. In this moment, we find ourselves transported back to the Amazon as it appeared approximately 2,500 years ago. The precise count of individuals who lived in this place remains a topic of discussion, yet many called it home. Stephen holds the view that the towns were constructed by a mysterious group referred to as the Upano, starting around 500 BC. In the heart of the Ecuadorian jungle, the Upano thrived, enjoying prosperity until the year 600 AD. Their reign extended for just over a millennium. Then, for reasons that defy explanation, they vanished into thin air. Which of these remarkable civilizations piques your curiosity for further exploration? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.